be Maya, and I continue to be senior to Shen. I have feelings now! <laughs> and this poem, as a disclaimer, is kind of dated because I actually accepted my college last night. So here we go. My mother looks at me as we drive, fingers furled around the circle of the steering wheel, eyes flicking back and forth between me and the road, me and the road, me and the road, with the steady assuredness of the windshield wipers sashaying back and forth and back and forth. The morning is calm, blue as the cloud cover, headlights blushing against the sledge, icing frosting the road. She is watching me think, what are you thinking about? Oh my god, today is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thursday, the day after is Friday, I see my planner spilling in front of me, curly cue writing spelling out, not one, not two, but three separate tests. I still haven't studied chapter 17 in my history book, and I'm not sure I fully absorb the content of chapter 26, because honestly, who cares about the Homestead Act of 1862? That history test does, and it will not be merciful, I cannot afford to be flogged by failure this early in the semester, oh god, the stress is real. People tell me that stress is healthy. I have to stop myself from screaming in moderation because I am gorging myself on it now. <laughs> I have to concentrate. I cannot consume any more knowledge about imaginary numbers, radicals, pi is equal to 3.141695, and multiply that times x, and you still do not have the solution to the equation of why my eyelids are drawn to the floor by gravity, which, by the way, is equal to 9.8 meters per second squared because I didn't get enough sleep last night. Last night, I was writing two separate essays I was cramming for that literature test. My days are not hammered into iambic pentameter. I have no set rhythm. I am constantly in motion. A body in motion will stay in motion. Well, a body at rest tends to stay at rest. I wish I could stay at rest. Let these bones too old for this young a body slump. But I am moving. I cannot stop. I have to get into college, looming in front of me, the pantheon of all the reasons I am not ready yet. I take the ACT in April. I have not even begun to study. I have to go to Barnes & Noble, buy that book, the one my college counselor recommended. I will fill it with all of the reasons I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Yet I wonder whether or not they are all lies. When I close my eyes, I see the number 36, 36, 36, 36. My mother says perfection is impossible. Perfection has to be possible because why else would I be going to this school? Taking these notes, studying for these tests, writing these essays, if not preparing for the pinnacle of academic achievement, why do we weep when we fail? If not for the fact that we fall so much further from our futures when our tests come back desecrated with skull and crossbone X's, I have seen far too many classmates. I have been those classmates cowering in apologetic rings in the hallway over fear of getting tests back or pain from actually getting those tests back to believe grades are not important in the scheme of things, grades do not define you, then what does? I have struggled far too long to build the shaky foundation of a 4.0 GPA to believe that it doesn't exist. I can spill the Bill of Rights in front of you. I can critically examine hundreds of verses of transcendental poetry. I can solve for x in practically any algebraic equation you lay before me. I can tell you how gravity works. I can explain how the universe works down to subatomic territory, but I cannot answer the question, why? I loll my head across the seat. Look my mother in the eye, crack my knuckles like popcorn kernels ice under the car tire. Nothing. I'm thinking about nothing. Yeah.